Hi guys, welcome. For today, it will be the Soconi Endorphin Speed 1. I bought this shoe during a sale, 50% off, so a good bargain. US size 10, it weighs 236 grams or 8.3 ounce, a bit light. 8 millimeter drop from heel to toe. Going to the specs, the upper is made up of mesh. I think it's dual layered. The tongue is somewhat gasseted, but it's only on this part. Not sure you can see it. Okay, uh, this. Not the whole tongue is gasseted, only on the this part, top part here. The, the laces is uh, quite long and neon green and flat. And there's a runner's hole. So you can use this during your night runs, This because this neon green will glow. The heel collar is sturdy and padded. The insole, the insole is a bit thick. Speed roll technology. Going to the midsole, it's a full length uh, power run, power PB, PB base foam. And inside of it is a nylon plate going to the outsole is a carbon rubber only in the forefoot area and the, some in the heel so cony durability uh, this is for about uh, about 40 kilometers of running mostly 10 then 116 then 5 it's good and grippy I'm guessing maybe 400 kilometers maybe Going to the fit, this is a uh, wide foot friendly. I'm using a bit thick socks on this and it's still good. The shoe requires a bit of a breaking period, maybe one day, just for the upper to get uh, softened up. But the midsole is, is already soft from the beginning. Going to the pros and cons. The cons, the cons would be, me, hmm experience on this maybe some structure on the upper okay it's kind of flimsy but it's okay i think it was fixed on the version 2 and maybe put some uh, grippy designs on the outsole sometimes i sleep on uh, on on roads sometimes but it was okay Okay, uh, going to the pros. It's a lightweight shoe, comfortable, breathable shoe. The foam is really bouncy and responsive. Together with the nylon plate, it gives an extra push. So, so kinda kinda unique on this because I felt this is this is really light, like I'm wearing slippers during my run. The lightness. Okay, I never felt that on other shoes this uh, this kind of uh, design okay going to the ride uh, okay the ride the ride uh, so this is for your for your tempo runs not for your slow runs and this is only for forefoot and midfoot strikers okay not for uh, heel strikers the ride was good i tried the uh, a dash on this shoe maybe maybe 50 kilometers of uh, 50 meters of dash run and it was good grippy on the concrete road no pain on my foot or or uh, knees it's good the bounce and the the propel of the the nylon plate really helped so no wonder people like this because it's really light light feel so who are these competitors? So uh, the Boston 10, the Nike Tempo next, uh, Puma Nitro DV2, uh, Magic Speed, I believe, the one that has a pl an item plate. Yes. 
uh, Under Armour doesn't have a nylon plate, I believe. A lightweight nylon plate. The velocity, no. It's, it's not nylon. Okay. So do I recommend this shoe? Yes. Get this shoe. It's really good. I got this for a good bargain and I was satisfied. Shall I buy another pair of this? Maybe, maybe not. I'll try the version, uh, the version three. So this is only for your runnings, okay? Don't use this for your lifestyle use because I tried this and I overprone it here. This part I overprone it. So this is only for running. I'm not sure of the version two because they say that the the foam on the version two is firmer. Maybe that helped. Uh, address the issue of the the, the overpronate so that's it guys if you like the video kindly subscribe and like it and i'll see you again thank you